Hello you guys. I feel like there's dust flying all around because I just had to move Bruce crate out of the room to vacuum and I feel like there's dust everywhere in this house. That's the one downside to living in like new construction. I feel like there's a lot of dust, especially with construction happening around us. But anyways, welcome back to the vlog. Hello, you guys. This vlog is going to be a little weekend at home. I'm about to head off to go um, babysit Carson for the weekend. Sarah and Ben have a wedding and then she has some like um, jobs and stuff that she is so busy with. This weekend, she does party planning as a career. So she is like busy on the weekends. So any chance I can and whenever I have a free weekend, I love going to visit and see him. So I'm excited to bring you guys along, document the fun little memories. I just got all dressed. I just packed up my luggage and I'm using the little carry-on size of the base luggage this weekend. And I wanted to thank base for sponsoring this video. You guys know how big of a fan I am of their luggage. They have literally the best stuff. They don't just have luggage. They have like weekender totes, cosmetic bags, jewelry cases, like the whole nine yards and everything is so chic and fashionable. I feel like it's hard to find luggage that is actually like cute and actually good quality. Um, so base was founded by the actress Shay Mitchell. And she was basically just like on a mission to make travel accessories and luggage cute chic but also really good high quality i feel like i've told you guys this before but i have invested in like designer luggage and this is like one sixth the price of some of the luggage that i've spent money on and this i choose to use time and time again like i'm so mad that i bought like designer luggage because it doesn't hold anything it doesn't fit anything it never like shuts it fills up so quick the weight on it it's just like a whole nine yard mess i am such an overpacker because i don't like the feeling of going on a trip and not having enough clothes so i always overpack and i have never had an issue with fitting all my stuff into my base luggage i have the carry-on size the medium i have the large i have the weekender tote which is right here i actually just unpacked this from this weekend because i brought this to athens and now it's the next weekend and i'm heading on another little weekend trip but i didn't bring this one this weekend because i packed a little bit too much so i brought the little carry-on but this i love because this bottom compartment i always put my shoes so there's like a separate area for your shoes sometimes i'll put like my dirty clothes in there which is really nice and then the inside has like pockets which is nice to like separate your stuff and it fits so much again i have the louis vuitton duffel spent a freakishly amount of money on it and i choose to carry this one time and time again all their luggage has 360 degree gliding wheels a cushion handle a built-in weight indicator which is like one of my favorite things you can weigh your luggage at home on the side to make sure that you're not overweight before you go to the airport and then also there's washable bags that come with the luggage for your dirty clothes which i always love to separate and then the interior pockets to like keep you organized and all that good stuff so literally she has thought of it all this is like some of the best luggage you guys so you definitely need to check them out. I know the holidays are like quickly approaching So this would be a really good gift to give someone for the holidays or with holiday travel coming up and you need a good Reliable suitcase. Also, what I love about these is that they just get better with time I feel like sometimes when I used to use old luggage I would be like, oh am I gonna have a wheel loss when my bag comes off of the rack or whatever? But these really do hold up and the quality is so so good so right now base is offering my listeners you guys 50 15% off of your purchase if you guys go to basetravel.com slash Racky. So check them out again. It's basetravel.com slash Racky and that's B-E-I-S. I'll put it here on the screen for you guys. I'll also have it linked down below in the description, but yes, so excited to be partnering with them again in this video. I love this luggage. I like cannot rave about them enough. So check them out. Thank you, Base, for sponsoring today's video. This is my mom notes. It makes me laugh every time I do this when I leave for the dogs. My mom actually has a trip. My mom is a flight attendant for a private airline and she is actually flying into Nashville tomorrow. So we only have someone coming over for the rest of the day and tonight for the dogs. And then my mom will actually be here with them. But I have all their stuff laid out. I'm going to make a coffee, get my shoes on. Roommate Tumblr keeps my coffees always so cold for so long and I don't like to use my Yeti cups for my coffee because I only like to put water in there. I always use these like smaller tumblers for my coffee. Some of this stock cold brew. It's so good. I talk about it in every video. You guys are probably like Rachel. We get it. I do a tiny splash of creamer. I have so many blueberries that I bought at 
Costco this week, and I'm going to be gone all weekend. They're probably going to go bad, and I know Dylan won't eat them, so I'm going to bring these as a little snack. Got that, that. I'm excited for my mom to come and meet Rue. She's never met Rue before. I'm sad because I won't be here to like see her meet Rue, but Rue, you better not be a little shithead for grandma. Okay? Are you gonna behave for grandma? You need to make sure that grandma loves you so she allows you to come to the beach house. <laughs> I also love these because it's a sip lid and it's kind of like how it is at Starbucks. The lids. If I could get it on here road trip outfit. I'm wearing this pullover from Revolve. I got it in a size medium. I probably could have done large, but I mean, it's still pretty oversized. I'm wearing a wood t-shirt. I feel like that is my go-to at this point. My braids, which look like so funny and like tucked in today. I don't know why. These are Lululemon joggers. I'll link this exact pair below because I recently just got them and I love I'm trying to show you guys. Yeah, the fit. You can kind of see better right here. Fit is so good. I love that there's pockets. I love the waistline. They're just like a good pair of joggers. I will forever think that Lululemon makes the best joggers. They're so good. And then I'm wearing just these New Balance sneakers. Um, it was like a New Balance and Stodd collab. And I think that they still have them. So I'll try to link them. Good morning. Good morning. Say, we do not feel that good today. Say, we're a little sick today. A little sick today. Say, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> okay, say bye bye. <laughs> So strong. When did you get to be so grown up? When did you get to be so grown up? You've seen that on TikTok? Look who saved the day. You haven't seen them on TikTok where people, they stick their tongue in this and then they shake it? No, do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I didn't vlog the rest of the day yesterday once I got here, but it's the next morning. Carson's been up since like, too early. I think I accidentally turned the heat on. Chocolate croissant. Oh wait, I mean regular croissant. We got venti, venti white chocolate mocha. And it is yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Ready? <gasps> yummy. That's yummy. What? Uh. Ah. Say ah. He say ah. Ah. <laughs> he's like having full conversation and I don't know what he's saying. Ah. You say ah. Hello you guys, the past few days have not been 
as planned. So I was supposed to be this whole weekend babysitting Carson. It's now currently Tuesday because as you guys can probably tell in my voice, I got sick. Um, so I was going over to Carson, Sarah Ben's house in Georgia where I grew up. It's my sister and my nephew. If you guys are new to the channel, that was like kind of the beginning clips of this vlog. And um, I was perfectly fine. Like I felt fine. I wouldn't have gone there if I felt any type of sick because if you guys are new, he was a preemie baby. He was born at 21 weeks. And so any tiny little thing can make him sick. So the day I got there, Sarah said he started to feel a little bit under the weather. And um, they had a wedding that weekend. That's why I came in and I was gonna help watch. But Sarah ended up not going to the wedding last second because she was like, I don't wanna leave my sick baby because let me turn, <laughs> I have jazz music playing. Let me turn it down. If I were to get sick like I am, it's not as serious as if Carson were to get sick. So he did get sick and Sarah was like, I don't wanna leave a sick baby. I ended up leaving Sunday afternoon. I wasn't supposed to leave till Monday afternoon. So um, on my drive home to Nashville two days ago, it's currently Tuesday. I started to like feel in my throat and I was like, oh no, I feel like a little bit run down. And then I was like, maybe I'm just exhausted from watching the baby because I was waking up really early and like I was pretty exhausted watching him. Babies are a lot of work, you guys. And um, yeah, I just was like, maybe I just need some rest. So I came home Sunday, didn't vlog or anything. Took some rest, woke up yesterday morning pretty sick. Um, today I feel much better, so I picked back up the camera. But um, yeah, I feel like there's something going around right now because Carson, I'm pretty sure I got it from Carson, obviously. I was around him and like was all in his face and blah, 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 and he was pretty sick. Um, so I'm pretty sure I got it from him because Dylan's not sick and I haven't really been around anybody else. But then this morning Dylan texted me and said that there's some guys at work that have like either they're testing for the flu or strep throat. And so I think that there's just sicknesses right now going around. So I know I'm probably not the only one. I posted on my story yesterday, like sick day. And a lot of you guys commented and was like, there must be something going around. Like I'm sick too, blah, blah, blah. So anyways, that's what's up today. I'm feeling much better. I've been blowing my nose like crazy. My face is all like chapped and breaking out and yeah. That's the deal, but I thought I would just do like a little home vlog, finish out the vlog today. I don't really have any plans to go anywhere, but just kind of lay low. Um, the sad part is, it's like, and I know this is like for so many people, you don't, you can't afford to take a bunch of sick days off of work. And even though I work for myself, like I still have a schedule and I have content that's due for brands and blah, blah, blah. So I just got so much sleep though, which I think is why I woke up feeling really good. I feel like you could still kind of tell in my throat and my voice, but I feel hundred times better than yesterday so today is Tuesday October 25th it's Halloween week my mom's supposed to be coming tomorrow Jenny and Emily are supposed to come this weekend so I'm trying to feel better I think I just have a sinus infection because Sarah said that that's kind of what Carson had just like a cold so I don't feel sick like I don't have body aches I don't have like lost taste lost smell like nothing like that I just have um, like congestion in my Head. Also, Winnie just threw up everywhere while I was pausing the camera after I made my coffee. So I don't know what's going on with her. I think she doesn't feel good either. She's standing right by me on the hardwood, you guys, which is crazy. I'll show you. I don't feel very good today. I'm sorry. I know. It's a sickness. It's going around. I wonder if mama got you sick. I'm sorry. <laughs> This week is Dylan's bye week, so he's been getting home from work. Well, I guess it's only the second day of the work week, but yesterday he got home from work at like 5.30, which normally on Mondays during the season, he gets home at like midnight or one in the morning. So that was nice. We made potato soup last night and just had like a chill night. I went to bed really early and I got a ton of sleep. I, the only thing I need to leave the house for today is I need to go to Costco because we're out of garbage bags and our vacuum, hey, we have the Dyson vacuum, which I love, but I got it. I think I got it as a like going into college gift. I got it like for my birthday one year. And so I think I've had it for like six or seven years and the battery is dying on it so badly. Like I literally will vacuum the kitchen and then it'll say that it's dead and it's supposed to last up to 60 minutes. So I know something's wrong. And I tried to file like the warranty thing through Dyson, but apparently my machine's too old. So just like this whole nine yard mess. So I was gonna go check out some vacuums at Costco. I'm such a big Dyson fan that I wanna buy another Dyson, but it just sucks that like I already bought one and now it's not working. So I don't know what I'm gonna do about the vacuum situation, but I really need a vacuum because it's fall and stuff and the dogs are bringing in leaves and roof sheds a little bit. So I just like am going crazy not having a vacuum that stays charged. So maybe when Dylan gets home, we could do a little Costco run 
and yeah i just have to unbox some packages that came while i was gone this weekend like literally when i got home sunday afternoon i came in i dropped all my bags and i laid on the couch took a shower went to bed and then all day yesterday i've been laying on the couch so i didn't really accomplish anything i did edit a video yesterday so that was kind of nice but um other than that nothing much going on so and i'm just gonna chill for a little bit on the couch get my morning started slowly and then i did get a bunch of stuff in from revolve that i want to try on for myself and i figured i would just film it anyways a bunch of good like basics for layering for fall so i thought i would show you guys that stuff i wasn't vlogging the day that we hung up this mantle but i am obsessed with it and i got this off of amazon so i'll link it below for you guys but right now i just have like a jazz coffee music thing on um what's called youtube and it just plays for like 11 hours straight whenever i leave the dogs at home or whatever i'll always put it on and it's just kind of calming and so sometimes i like to have it on in the mornings and stuff but i am obsessed with this mantle i feel like when we moved into this house the best buy workers came and hung this frame tv and they hung it pretty high because the marble like i was telling you guys earlier the marble stops and so there was always a big gap and it always bothered me but I was like, you know, we're not staying here. I'm not going to spend a lot of money to like, get a mantle put in. But I was randomly looking on Amazon and I found this mantle and it was pretty affordable. And it came really quickly. So I will link it for you guys in case you have the same situation. I specifically got it because, call me crazy, but I wanted somewhere to hang our stockings for the holidays. And so this now will be perfect. And then I also got this um, frame finally. So the TV this is the frame TV and it obviously used to be black and this is just like a little magnetic piece that goes on and it is the exact brown as the mantle. So worked out perfectly and now there's not a huge random gap. Apparently they said they had to hang the TV this high because with the frame TV it's honestly dumb because there's still cords and there's still a box which there's not supposed to be but they had to run it through the back and then bring it out through the side right here. That's why we have like these cords and stuff right there but yeah I feel like it looks more complete now and I'm very excited about it. So I wanted to show you that little house update and yeah it's cute. Dylan hung it for me and I love it. <laughs> okay medicine cabinet which this is not organized by any means i probably could organize this today this little section right here all these cabinets is what we use as our pantry and i feel like i try to organize it and then it just be like please look you guys I'm currently exposing myself but i mean what is this rachel this is so not me i just throw things like i kind of tried to be organized right here like i did like some jarred stuff, some random stuff, sauces, like chips, but then like I don't even know what any of that is. And then we have so much like alcohol right here, a bunch of wines and stuff. Um, yeah, dog stuff, like just random stuff. This is where I keep all my receipts for like taxes. <laughs> and then up here we have like baking stuff, but nothing is organized. But my whole point of this was this is where we keep the medicine, which is also not organized shocker but i've been taking the sudafed that's what i took yesterday and i don't think i need mucinex because it's not it's not that i can't like breathe it's just i have such a bad headache and i think sudafed would be the way to go i have like baby pain relief for carson when he was here but i think i'm gonna go with the daytime sudafed you take it every four hours and then last night I took the nighttime one and I think that's why I slept for like 10 hours straight so we will do that again maybe the organization can be in next vlog because I just don't simply have the energy for this right now but oh I also a few days ago before I left for Georgia to go watch Carson I went to Bath and Body Works and I got some wall flowers which I am always a candle gal but sometimes I just want to have the house smelling good at all times. So I know some people like these and I know some people don't. I know there's like a love hate with Bath and Body Works candles because apparently they're not that good for you to be breathing in. But you know what? Life is short. I'm going to have the Bath and Body Works candles. So I got a bunch of wallflowers because I think it was five for 25. So I got 10 total. So I got a bunch right now. I have two of them going and I have like, I think it's like 
caramel apple macchiato something like that for fall so i got a bunch of those which is really nice and honestly you guys it's been smelling up the house and it's so great and then i got some of these little sprays this is a christmas scent i also got they were out of all their fall stuff already so i just went ahead and did christmas this one is winter i keep it by the sink and then i keep some in the bathroom and stuff and yeah i just got a bunch of them so i have them in the pantry and i need to find probably a better spot for them but yeah they're really nice and they make the house smell so good winnie what do you need love what are you looking for what do you need <laughs> say in about two days i'm gonna be bigger than winnie right right and say last night i got a bath and i'm all clean what about you over here? Do you guys want a treat? No, you, you, you're gonna run into this glass table and you're gonna knock it over. Sit, good job. Winnie, eh, Winnie goes first, cause she's older, remember? Sit. Winnie, you get one more cause you're sick. <laughs> Because you're sick and you don't feel good. I'm going to go get all the new Revolve clothes out of the box. And we're going to do a little try on. My little sweat set today is from Mad Happy. I need to like steam the pants because they got kind of weird in the wash. But I'm obsessed with the fit of their stuff. So cute. I also got um, like out of breath from walking up those stairs. But I also got two new pair of boots. I've had these sitting here for a while. But these I'm like totally obsessed with. They're by the brand Ghani. I think that's how you say it. And then... These are from Forward and they're from the brand Simon Miller and I just loved the like really intense pointed toe. I thought these were cute. So two new little pair of fall boots and then a whole stack right here of some clothes. I'm going to try them on, see what I want to keep and I'll show you guys. I've quickly become obsessed with this brand um, called The Line by K on Revolve and they have just like the best quality fitting basic kind of clothing um, i'll try these on for you guys but it's the same brand as that black top that i wore to the georgia game when i went to athens and their stuff just like stretches and so i feel like timeless and classy and i just love 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 their stuff so i got this really cute set that i'm excited i hope that it fits and then the matching top and then i got two more of the top so i'm gonna try on those first okay obsessed with this i'm wearing a medium top i probably could have done a small top because it is a little bit like loose at the bottom but that's fine and then this skirt is a size small you can do it like obviously showing your stomach a little or you could pull it down and make it look like it's almost a long maxi dress which i think is really pretty the quality and stuff is just so good and it's so stretchy and comfy it feels like Kind of almost feels like skims and that you're just wearing a really comfy fit, but I really like what it looks like with the black boots and then a little black bag. You could do a long leather black trench coat over this. If you wanted to be showing your stomach, you could always like pull it up and crop it. Like how cute. I think their tops run around like $60 to $80 and then this skirt I think was like $100, which obviously is so pricey, but I feel like... For the quality it's really really good this is the same top but in all gray which i feel like i'm gonna get so much wear out of especially because i feel like with fall you always just want something to throw under all the sweaters and like something really good for layering this one i got in a size small so it fits a little bit better than the last one i had on just wearing like little skims bra underneath and it's so good. These jeans are also revolved. Last time I checked, they were sold out, but I'll link them if they're not. But this top is so good. You guys can see the material. It's just like so buttery soft. And I'm obsessed with it. So really cute. Last little top from the line by K. I just put on these boots again, which I'm obsessed with. And then the jeans. This has a really pretty like boat neck. I think that's what this is called. And I think it's just... Very flattering, it kind of just elevates a regular long sleeve. I can totally see myself wearing this outfit with like a long black trench coat, a black vest, like anything like that. So cute, a black belt, black bag. Like, I'm obsessed with these tops. They're so comfy and so easy for fall. So check them out, they always like kind of sell out quick. So I'm gonna hopefully link them and they're all still available, but 
really cute. This next little top is from the brand John Elliott. Ignore my hair. I don't even know what's going on with my hair. Um, but I got this in a size large. It was actually on sale. And it's like a thicker version of a long sleeve. I really just loved the neckline because I love layering necklines like this for fall because if you put a sweater, I probably wouldn't do a sweater of this because it's so loose, but if I were to do a jacket, you can still see the neckline really well, which I really like. I got this in a large. It probably could have done a medium, but I think it was like originally like 160 or like what in that price range. I think I got it for like 80 bucks and it's really nice, good quality. First off, my olive tree. for the count right now okay um when i placed this order on revolve i was really thinking like what things do i lack when i'm getting dressed and ready for fall i remember one morning i was trying to get ready and i was like getting frustrated because i feel like i have so many clothes but i was like i don't know what to pair i feel like a lot of my clothes are very like dressy and for photos or vacations or like certain events but i don't have a ton of just like everyday basic things so that's really what i focused on with this and Everything that I got so far so good, um, I'm like obsessed with. So this is just like a bunch of good basics to have in your closet for layering for fall. Like I would totally wear this outfit out. I think it's so me, so cute. You could do a colored bag, you could do a black bag, like anything. Scarf would be really cute. Okay, um, next I got this long sleeve from a Goldie. I'm really excited to try this on. I've been waiting on it to come back in stock and it's like a beautiful ribbed material. I got this in a medium, so I'm gonna try this on quick. Love, love, love. This is a really thick, nice quality long sleeve. It's a little bit more cropped too, so if you're not on the taller side, this would be perfect for you so you don't have like a bunch of material hanging down at the bottom. Love this. I got a little vest that I wanna try on with it. I got this in a size large. It's from the brand Free People and I've been eyeing this vest on their website. I think I probably should have gotten a medium. Uh, actually. Uh, no, I think it might be a little too big. I think I need to return this. Obsess with free people when it comes to fall and winter because they have so many good um, like Sherpas and jackets and pullovers. When I saw this one on Revolve, I was like, oh my god, this is so good. But I do think I got one size too big. You can tighten it, but I just feel like it looks maybe a little bit too, <laughs> a little too oversized for me. But I'm going to return this and get the medium. So definitely do like true to size if you order this vest. But it is so cute. I'm obsessed with the colors. And this long sleeve underneath, this is like a perfect example, like just like layering pieces. Um, I would honestly wear this whole entire outfit just like this, but the vest just needs to be a little bit smaller. So really cute. They have another color too. They have like a reddish pink color and it was really also adorable. So yeah, I need to get a medium. Like I need to go order it now before it sells out. <laughs> I'm not going to try these on because I'm getting kind of short breath. I'm realizing that I don't 100% feel that good. So um, I got two basic like short sleeves. And I got these in a size two. I didn't want them to be too oversized. By the brand James Pierce. And I thought these would be good if I ever wanted to do a short sleeve just because the South, it doesn't get that cold all the time. And sometimes laying like long sleeve and then sweater can be a lot. So I got this like charcoal -y color and then I got just like an everyday white tee. And you can tell the quality of these are just really, really nice and good for layering, good basics, all that good stuff. So that's my little free people, I mean, <laughs> That's my little Revolve haul. I always have my Revolve favorites linked down below for you guys. I'm always updating them. I like look every morning at the new arrivals and I always sift through and do all my favorites. Can you guys hear my crazy dogs downstairs? <laughs> That's the little fall haul. I'm really excited about all of these pieces. So cute. I will link all of them below for you guys.
a little mini Whole Foods haul. I went and grabbed some stuff for tacos. I'm obsessed with the Siete um, taco shells. And I also love the Siete um, taco seasoning, but they didn't have the regular one. They only had spicy, and I'm not a huge spicy gal, so I just got this regular one. And then I got some chips, a bunch of pre-made salsas and stuff because I'm just like not really up for making all that homemade today. So I got their guac. Their guacamole is so good. And then I got some salsa to go on top and some pico i got a huge thing of green juice i'm like i need to chug this and let it bring me back to life so this is the green lemonade it has um apples cucumber spinach kale and lemon i always look for green juices that have apple and lemon because it's always kind of sweet and i really love it i got some more olipop the orange cream is my favorite but they were out so i got the orange squeeze i saw this at the checkout and i was like i have to get this the whip topping i think i had that last fall in colorado and it was really good i'm gonna put that over my coffee tomorrow morning got some lettuce for tacos these were just calling my name they're so good the brown butter chocolate chip cookies and then i got some onions and stuff so that's a little mini haul we're gonna put all that up and i honestly think i just need to lay low for the rest of the day and um the rest of the week honestly i probably won't vlog until the weekend give myself a few days off so that will be nice um i hope everyone's having a great day whatever day you're watching this hope everyone's doing well um this is a reminder to give yourself rest because i feel like i run myself into the ground constantly so that's that we're gonna make tacos tonight for dinner dylan should be home soon and i'm excited to just kind of hang out with him on the couch and just relax and chill and all that stuff i'm probably gonna go order a vacuum right now on the computer and just some um, things like that and catch up on some shows so oh i finished jeffrey dahmer and it was crazy i feel like i've heard reviews saying that they don't like how they romanticize Jeffrey Dahmer and I totally agree because like what he did was so not okay um that's just my opinion on it but I want to start a new show so comment down below some shows that you guys are loving I love like obviously chick flicks and things like that I love suspense and crime and just like thriller type of shows so anything you guys got leave them down below I love you all thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video bye you guys Thank you.